another collection update. Uh, we got Star Trek 1979 motion picture action figures from Mego, and I do lots of Mego videos. And somebody in the comment section a while ago asked me about these. I said, "Oh, I did a video on those, but I actually added to more to the collection, and I want to show off what I got because um, I think it's pretty interesting." Collection started with these. These three guys right here from when I was, uh, was from my childhood collection. I didn't know what they were. I was not a big Star Trek fan when I was a little kid. Um, remember my mother's friend gave me these for like my birthday or something like that. And I thought they were just like, you know, Woolworth or Kmart like knockoff figures. And I used them as like background aliens for my Star Wars stuff. And eh. They're all right. I, 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 I like this guy because I thought he was kind of weird and adorable. This is a Rigelin. This is an Octorian. What did they have? Like two seconds of screen time in Star Trek the motion picture? And of course we got the Klingon. I didn't really know what a Klingon was. I knew who Captain Kirk was, but I didn't have Captain Kirk. These are actually three of the rarest figures you get. They're all worth, I don't know, like 100 bucks each now. Probably even more. I didn't check eBay recently. I didn't find that out until later in life. I'm researching stuff. I was like, oh, I, I know that figure. I was looking at Mego stuff. On, I think it was on Mego Museum. I saw that. I was like, oh, I have that. I have that. I have that. That was a Klingon? And... Wow. I feel like it's almost financially irresponsible of me to even keep these because they're worth so much money. Uh, but I've sold some stuff in the past. I sold uh, one of those Nintendo handheld watch games. And I sold it for a good amount of money. And now it's worth even far more than that. But I don't even care if I still had it. and it was, I wouldn't sell it now for that money. It just I feel like, oh. I sold Christmas 1983 away. That hurts. So I would never get rid of these guys. Don't care how much. And... Can't buy that back. Can't buy that... The, the old time feelings again, so... I will hoard on to that stuff. I get hit by a bus tomorrow, let somebody else worry about it. I work in retail. I have hundreds of dollars of figures sitting in little baggies, sitting in a drawer, uh, and I won't get rid of them. If I did have tons and tons of money, I would be buying this stuff. So, I've got my treasures now. I, you know, I don't want a Ferrari. I want figures. And a PRS guitar. I don't think I would trade all my toys for the PRS guitar though. I think I would keep the toy. I think I would want my perfect life, the perfect thing would be to have the toys and the PRS guitar, not one or the other. And then I finally got me Captain Kirk. Gotta have Captain Kirk. And I met William Shatner at a Comic Con and it was I don't know what to say. I start kissing his ass. I told him I was like, this is the greatest moment of my life. He's like, really? I'm like, uh, I don't know. I think I told that story before. I froze up. I'm scared of Comic-Cons getting autographs from people. I tense up like a total dweeb. But we had, that was, that was basically all my collection. I just wanted William Shatner. And then I went on eBay, started looking for a Spock. You gotta have, you gotta have Kurt and Kirk. Captain Kirk, you gotta have Spock. And I found a Spock. And he looked a little too mint. I will say he looked a little too mint. Um... Don't buy the one that looks absolutely mint if it's a figure that's like, you know, 35, 40 years old. And, yeah, when I got him in the mail, his, his hair was extremely black, and but it was sticky. And that was, you know, like 30-year-old magic marker that was on top of his head. So I washed it off, and, yeah, look, he's got male pattern baldness. Uh, so... I was a little disappointed by that. That was like the worst 10 bucks I, I felt ripped off for my $10. What am I going to send that back? No, I wanted it for the collection. But I was mad because all the rest of my figures in this collection are in super great condition. Then I'm out, you know, doing my, my toy hunts, going to all my haunts. I found a better Spock. Had to pick him up because this one was always bugging me. But 
all these like weird figures, they kind of you kind of take them into your heart. You want to keep them. You didn't want to give them back or resell them on eBay. But I finally got one that's worthy of this collection. And it was just going to end there. There's only about, what? There's three more aliens that only sold in Canada or something like that. And they're a fortune. Never going to buy those. That's just never going to happen. Um, but then I, I'm out searching about. I finally got my good Spock. And then a couple months after that, I find... Scotty, for a very decent price, eight nine dollars something like that, and Decker. Now all I'm missing is uh, McCoy and Aaliyah, and twelve bucks, fifteen bucks each. So I will have the whole collection except for the three aliens, which they're kind of international releases anyway. They don't count, but I'll be happy with just those those two extra figures, and boom, I got the whole damn collection. Except for, like, the, the Enterprise Bridge. That's worth a fortune. I'm not going to pay for that. Uh, maybe I'll get, like, the, the Playmates one for the next generation, stick them all in there. But I don't buy uh, vehicles anyway. Because I don't have the space. But, boom. Collection. Wasn't even trying. It just kind of fell my way. That's how a lot of these things start to happen. So... You, you see, like, the, the back cross cells on, uh, on action figure cards, and you see all the stuff in the wave, and it's like, well, I'll, I'll probably never get all that. I'd give you a dream of having it. But look, look at all this. I got, like, damn near the whole collection of Star Trek figures. So, pretty happy. And thank you for watching. Comment, share, subscribe. Thank you. Good night.